about what codominance is, the idea that in some traits there are two dominant alleles and they are both expressed in a heterozygote individual. Um, and the big example that we used for codominance was blood type. And we said that when we're doing blood type, we're going to use capital I as dominant, and you can use a superscript of A or B, depending on what glycolipid they have on their blood. And then the recessive is little i. So somebody who's homozygous recessive has type O blood. So let's go through a couple of Punnett square examples because you might have to do one of these for your final exam. Okay. So our first example says, a woman with type AB blood marries a man who is type O blood. What possible blood types could their children have and in what percentage? Just like any other Punnett square, the first thing we're going to do is figure out the genotypes of the parents. Okay? So we'll write that on the board. We know that the woman is type AB. And that's the codominance, so we do big I, superscript A, big I, superscript B, and then the man is type O, and type O is homozygous recessive, so he has two little I's. Then we figure out what gametes they can make. The woman could give her child the A allele, or the B allele. The dad could give a little i or a little i. Those are his only options. So we're going to set this up as a monohybrid cross, um, a 2 by 2 Punnett square. Put the gametes on the top and on the side. And then we will fertilize in the boxes. I'm going to write the recessives second if there is a recessive. And here are my four possible offspring. So it looks like we could have two offspring that have type A blood or two offspring that have type B blood. So the question asks what percentage um, we'll have the different blood types, so we should say 50% will be type A, and then 50% would be type B, and that would be your answer for that question. Let's do one more example. Um, the second example says... A mother has type A blood, and a father has type B blood. They have two children. One child has type O blood. And we have two questions that we're going to investigate. The first one says, what is the genotype of the parents? And the second one is asking, what are the potential genotypes of their second child? I'm going to set this one up a little bit differently because... I know some information, but there's still some that I don't know. So I'm going to start by listing all of the individuals that are involved. So I have a mom, I have a dad, and I'm going to say I have kid one, and I have kid two. I know that one of the kids is type O, and we said that O is homozygous recessive, so I'm going to give that kid the two little eyes, and we're done with that one. I also know that the mom is type A. So if she is type A, she has to have capital I superscript A. But we don't necessarily know what her second allele is. She could be homozygous dominant, or she could be heterozygous. I also know that the dad has type B. But again, I'm not sure if he is homozygous dominant or heterozygous. So remember you can use the dash to indicate that you know based on their phenotype that they definitely have the dominant but you're not sure if they're homozygous dominant or heterozygous. There's a way based on the information that I've given you however to determine their definite genotypes because we can look at the kid. 
And we know that this kid, if it came from both parents, it needed to get one allele from each parent. So that means it had to get one little I from the mom and one little I from the dad. And that tells us that the parents are heterozygous for type A blood and type B blood, respectively. So I can change those into little I's instead of dashes. So we've answered the first part of the question. We've figured out what the genotypes of the parents are. The next step is we need to figure out what's the possible genotypes for the second child. And we can do that with a pennant square. So I'm going to look at the parents and erase the arrows. Okay. So the mom could give a gamete of IA or a gamete of little i. And the dad could give a gamete of IB or a little i. So we're going to put those on a pennant square. And again, this is going to be a monohybrid pennant square. You will only have to do monohybrid pennant squares for the codominance and the blood type. So I'm going to put the mom on the top, put the dad on the side. I'm going to fertilize in the boxes, joining the gametes. So this is pretty interesting. It looks like that second child could have four possible genotypes. That has a 25% chance of being type AB, a 25% chance of being type B, 25% chance of being type A, and a 25% chance of being type O. So that's how you would write this out. You'd say 25% type A, 25% type B, etc., etc., 25% AB, and 25% O. And that would, that's how you would solve this. So we figured out what the parents were, and we figured out potentially what that second child's genotype could be. I hope this helps as you work through your codominance problems.